Zongzi is made out of sticky rice and a variety of delectable fillings. Then it is wrapped in bamboo leaves and then boiled until its aroma permeates your entire kitchen. Hello my foodies, it's me again, Cici. Happy the Dragon Boat Festival and in Chinese we call it Duan Wu Jie where we say Duan Wu Jie Kuai Le and this year it is on June 7th. And one of the things that you must eat during Duan Wu Jie is Zongzi. So let's get started. So here's the night before we have some preparation to do. First we have here some bamboo leaves. We're gonna wash and clean. Rehydrate water overnight. We can also put something heavy over it. Here we also have sticky rice. We're gonna rinse and water it. And soak in water for overnight. These are mung beans. We're gonna rinse and soak in water for overnight. Peanut, rinse and soak in water for overnight. Shiitake mushrooms, rinse and rehydrate in water for overnight. These are dry shrimps, rinse and rehydrate in water for overnight. Mix together all the ingredients for the marinade. Then add the pork belly. Mix well. Marinate overnight. So on the day when we're gonna make zongzi, first we're gonna have to drain everything. And here we have more preparation work. Uh, for the sticky rice, we're gonna add all the seasonings. And mix well. To assemble the zongzi, first um, we have to wipe dry the bamboo leaves. Use a pair of kitchen shears to trim off both ends of bamboo leaves for about half of an inch to one inch. 
Then take two bamboo leaves, smooth side up. Uh, brush a thin layer of vegetable oil on the smaller piece. The oil will prevent the sticky rice from sticking on the bamboo leaves when opening them up. Uh, then place the smaller piece on top of the larger one. Now we can form a comb uh, by folding slightly to the right side of the leaf inward. And to fill the comb, we're going to add 1 tablespoon of sticky rice, 1 tablespoon of mung beans, 1 salted duck egg yolk, 2 pieces of pork belly, half a tablespoon of mushrooms and dry shrimps, half a tablespoon of peanut, then top with another tablespoon of mung beans and two and a half tablespoons of sticky rice. And now we're going to cover it up by uh, folding over the remaining of the leaves. Cover the opening entirely and press tightly to cover the sides partially. Uh, wrap the remaining edge of the leaves inward, just like this. Make sure there's no more opening. To tie the zongzi, use cooking twine to wrap around it for a couple of times. Cut the twine and seal tight and tie a knot. Do the same with the rest. In a large pot, bring water to a boil at the zongzi and cook on medium heat for about 2 hours. Add additional boiled water as needed. You can open the zongzi after they cool down a little so they will hold their shape better. There's so many different ways to make zongzi, anything from sweet to savory. You can also make different shapes. My favorite type to make it and to eat it is of course the Cantonese type. But on the other hand, my husband really loved the red day one. So which one is your favorite? Comment below and share with me. And if you're interested in the red day zongzi, you can also check out my website for this amazing recipe. I'll see you again in the next episode. Remember to subscribe thumbs up. Bye now!